good morning everyone how are you i hope you are doing all well in this uh, corona period today i'm going to discuss uh, with you about uh, one important topic which is uh, what languages to learn <coughs> in 2020 so um if you are new and just to start and just starting your career as a uh, software engineer or a programmer so there are actually five fields i see where you can work on so you can work on as a web development back-end programmer you can work for a web development company as a front-end developer you can work for a mobile application developer it can be a native mobile applications like um, for android native applications ios native applications you can work as a desktop application developer <clears throat> which is going to be extinct in coming days. And you can work as a hybrid mobile applications developer like React Native developer or Angular developer. So <clears throat> who develops hybrid applications, cross-platform applications. So these are the main five areas where you can work on, whether it's a big company or small, whether it's a USA company on European. So in, in general, these are the main working criteria. So let me go through each of those one by one. So for web development backend. So backend developers are usually as a PHP developer or maybe a Node.js developer or Ruby or Java or Python. So these are the possible languages that works for the backend developers. So you can choose these. You can learn any of these PHP, Java, Python, Ruby, C Sharp, so um, and then you can be a <clears throat> back-end developer you need to know uh, the concepts of uh, object-oriented programming different kinds of design patterns and also problem solving attitude algorithms to get started with the salary range for a de back-end developer varies country to country but you should get a good salary as a starting point and then based on your uh, capabilities working output you will get more and more promoted to a higher position so the next category is front-end developer so <clears throat> to work as a front-end developer you need to know html css javascript must and then you if you know uh, react js that's also fine or angular these these are the uh, popular languages now to work with a work uh, for working as a front-end developer so if you are planning to work as a front-end developer i would suggest to learn html completely and then you learn css and also then learn javascript and then parallelly run react or angular any of these languages then the next category is mobile apps <clears throat> so uh, you can be working as a mobile app developer for a software company and then <clears throat> your languages will be objective c or swift or java or python or maybe javascript as react native so uh, these are the mobile apps developers uh, languages that if you are going to be if you are planning to work as a mobile apps developer you should try to learn any of those that should be fine like objective c swift java python that's it these are native applications development and if you wanted to have cross application development cross platform application developer then react native that's that's fine for you so learn any of those languages and become a mobile apps developer for desktop application developer this is going to be uh, extinct in coming days because no one going to build a desktop applications nowadays so everything is moving towards web and uh, but still there are some jobs and if you know any of those languages c sharp java or python then probably you are good to go and you can work as a desktop application developer so uh, there are varieties of languages available to choose from <coughs> select the language which you want to um, work with. So if you wanted to work as a backend developer, then I would suggest you learn as a uh, any of the languages like PHP, Java, 
Python, Ruby. If you want to be a front-end developer, I would suggest you focus on JavaScript mostly and then React, JS or Angular and also HTML, CSS. And if you are going to be a mobile apps developer, then you can focus on uh, Swift or Objective-C for iOS and for Android, you focus on Java. So that's that's my observation. And from uh, my experience, these, these are the top popular languages that you can learn in 2020 and build your career in IT. So thank you for watching my video. I request you to subscribe and share it with your friends. I try to provide more and more useful uh, videos for you so that you can get an in-depth knowledge about um, programming languages, AWS, and also WordPress. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye.